Okay, so this is a quick video over at the Pueblo House Music House Community Garden in Pueblo, Colorado, where I've used algae grow in the soil to grow all these tomatoes. Uh, there's a whole bunch of green ones that I've picked because today is uh, September 7th, I believe, and there's a forecast for a freeze tomorrow or uh, the day after. So today's Monday, so Labor Day actually. So Tuesday or Wednesday it's supposed to freeze, so I picked this whole big bag. It's a compostable plastic bag full of green tomatoes, most of them quite large. Um, you can see there how beautiful most of these are. And um, there's some smaller ones because some of the plants did really super well and some of the plants did not do so well. I think it was a matter of too much water for some of the plants. As you could also see, there's some of their, their cracking on the top. That happens a lot when there's too much water on the plants. But uh, of course it's still edible. And this, that is a, a spaghetti squash right there. And the spaghetti squash, um, that's just one of many that have come out of this garden. I don't even know how many have come out of the garden because um, because I picked, I don't know how many I've picked, uh, close to a dozen probably off of three plants and um, some others have po picked maybe half a dozen so I don't know 18 or so spaghetti squash off of these three plants and then there's been many many cucumbers pickling cucumbers I'd say I don't even know how many dozen um, 10 dozen at least maybe more and so it's slowing down this is one of about half a dozen or so I picked today but of course if it's gonna freeze tomorrow that's why it's slowing down because the weather is changing in September and then this is a kohlrabi I didn't thin it out real well but um, that's why we have some weird shaped kohlrabi instead of being flat and round they're kind of elongated like an egg shape but I did use a water filter and I used a timer um, irrigation system but I only watered this system was set up to water only once a day in the morning for I don't know like 15 20 minutes every day and actually when it rained I, I used the rain delay a couple times so um, everything you see growing in this plot except for the things growing out of the rocks which are mostly hollyhocks everything else was irrigated with filtered water and I used some algae grow in the soil along with some worm castings and some of these plots I also added some rabbit manure but there's a little baby spaghetti squash as you can see it's still growing and then we have a bunch of basil and some other herbs and things over here this is some wild spinach or kelites grown real wild and crazy thanks to all the water it's been getting some uh, Thai basil that bolted and went to seed some cilantro that bolted and went to seed some more regular sweet basil on the other side of this calitas plant here and then um, a bunch of lettuce cost lettuce aka romaine that bolted and went to seed but um, it grew really well for a couple months and we kept harvesting lettuce for a couple months before it bolted and then over here is where the spaghetti squash is growing this is only three plants and yes there's a bunch of weeds in there now because um, I kind of let it go but and uh, the center of the plants have kind of died off but as you can see the plants have spread out way far in all directions and are still producing spaghetti squash you can see another one in here that's just about ready to pick I think maybe I should pick it because it's gonna freeze tonight or possibly or tomorrow I think maybe I will um, but it's still producing baby spaghetti squashes. Pretty amazing stuff. And yes, I grew some corn and amaranth over here. All this stuff again was I used algae grow on. And a bunch of kohlrabi and some sweet basil. Even some flowers and some lamb's ear. Used some algae grow in there and the lamb's ear absolutely loved it. These plants started out I don't know about a third of this size a few months ago we planted these and now look at how they've spread out that lamb's ear is doing amazing and then some pole beans and more tomato plants 
Here's six cucumber plants over here that we've gotten many, many dozens of cucumbers off of. Again, it's not doing too well now because of the weather extremes, hot and cold that have been happening. Um, and then we've been kind of slow to pick some of these cucumbers. Here's one that's turning yellow on us. So I'm going to leave that. And if it doesn't freeze, maybe it'll mature and we'll get more seed off of these. Um, lots of marigolds. These marigolds have gotten humongous. Once again, I, I gave them some of that algae grow and they just took off like crazy. And um, this isn't even the biggest marigold plant. Yes, that is one single marigold plant. And um, I've come over here. Here's the kaboka squash patch over there, still growing. And this is another marigold plant. And this thing is, I don't know, four feet tall. And that's one single marigold plant. All these marigolds you see there, once again, the algae grow fed that along with a little bit of water every day. And this marigold has gotten massive. That's one plant. You can see down here the stem going into the ground. That's one single marigold plant. And yes, some of these stems, the side stems have broken off, but uh, that's one single marigold plant that produced all these flowers. And uh, some tomatoes, picked as many as I could get. And I'm, there's still a lot of baby ones on there. Maybe me pick a few more. But there's the kaboka, and it's growing outside of the fence, onto the fence. It's pretty crazy. So we, we've gotten, I don't know, a few dozen kaboka squash off of there too, those little pumpkin-like squashes. So that's the algae grow garden. And uh, not just algae grow, but some worm castings and a little bit of manure in some of these plots. Mainly the squash and cucumbers put some uh, rabbit manure in about halfway through the season and um, they just exploded with all kinds of produce. So, yeah. That's it. I highly, highly recommend algae grow. And uh, you don't have to use it every week. I used it a few times in the first couple months. And um, yeah, just amazing stuff. And even with the algae grow and only watering once a day, some of this, these squash plants still got powdery mildew. Cause, and then this, this is a healthy new growth off of that spaghetti squash plant. Look at that. A little less healthy toward the center. But, yeah, it's awesome. Some beautiful hollyhocks. Looks like there's a spider. No, that's not a spider. That's some kind of other bug on there. But, um, anyway, that's the garden. 